Okay, guys, so we're going to cover the guillotine defense, defense from standing guillotine. And so what happens is from here, he's got my neck, okay? One of the first things I want to do is a lot of people teach grabbing the wrist, okay? And so I'm really against this um, method of grabbing the wrist. And the reason is because if I get caught in a guillotine and I grab his wrist, what happens is it's still possible for him to jump and put me in the guard. And so one of the first things I'll do once I get caught with a standing guillotine is I will actually put my hand on the hip. And what the hand on the hip does is it serves three purposes. One, it prevents him from being able to jump guard. I'm keeping my hips, his hips far enough away that if he tries to jump, he's not going to be able to bring his hips closer to me to wrap his legs around me. Two, what the hand on the hip does is a lot of times when people try to actually apply a guillotine from standing, they actually try to arch back and bring their hips forward. And so this will kind of relieve that pressure of his ability to drive his hips forward and lean back. And the third thing that this hand on the hip does is it actually helps me to be able to cut to the side. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So once he grabs my neck, first thing is hand on the hip. And the next thing is I want to do is I want to put my arm down his back. When I put my hand on the hip, Immediately what I want to do is I want to stiff arm and, and uh, back myself up. Now with this hand over his shoulder, I'm going to drop my elbow. And what that does is it kind of takes him uh, a little bit off balance. So even if he's squeezing my neck, he doesn't really quite have the angle. And so really awkward. from here, once I bring myself back, my hand will pull my elbow down. And now I've changed the angle of the choke. Okay. So once he's off balance, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop around, use my knee behind his knee to buckle his knee, and that will take him to the ground. Okay? So one more time. Okay. He's caught me in the guillotine, so first thing is hand on the hip. And even if I can't stretch my arm, okay, sometimes I can't feel I can't stretch my arm, what I'll do is I walk myself back, and that breaks his posture. From here, I pull his shoulder down, so hand over. I drop my elbow, which helps to pull the shoulder down. And what happens is, as I'm pushing and pulling his shoulder, try to turn with him. It's hard for him to turn. So now I'm going to use my knee to buckle his leg and take him down to the ground. Okay. So what's important is the hand on the hip. And as I throw that arm over, I'm actually bringing my elbow to me. And what it does is it changes the angle of his body so he doesn't really have his wrist on my throat anymore. As it changes, now his ability to squeeze, he's kind of more squeezing the side of my neck. It relieves a lot of the initial pressure of that throat, uh, of the blade of his arm going directly into my throat.